I know you have my precious. Milag is coming for you. Uh, Alvast? Milag will get a ship. We'll fly it. We'll get you. Yes. Yes. Sky, you have to take more care when you're in the field next time. We're lucky it was just a fracture of your foot. There, that should do. Thanks. Whoa, what's that? Combat helmet hair? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Let's, let's get back to the data. There is the prototype of the anti-gravity assault vehicle. Right. According to this, they've been manufacturing advanced weaponry for three years now. Hmm, the base was attacked 12 hours ago. Oh, there's a video file. Monsters, Vast! The station was attacked by monsters! We'll come back to that. An unknown spacecraft crashed upon the planet and was seized by the base, and was stolen about the same time we landed. That's the sector where you blew up that ship. The Reapers have an uninvited guest. Astro, secure yourself in my quarters. And play the holiday track to mask our movement. Let's go, Sky. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest, yo ho ho and a bottle of fun. Blink and the guns had done for the rest, yo ho ho and a bottle of fun. Fifteen men of the starship's list, yo ho ho and a bottle of fun. All souls bound contrary wise, yo ho ho and a bottle of fun. Tuck Nick Grill. Your flight controls are lacking. I fixed them. The ship shall now suffice. Taking the shot. Ha ha ha. I have poor skill technology. Your blasters will cause no harm to me. This, this changes everything. I know, it's my fault for picking up floating debris in the cosmos. Wait, did you just say you fixed my flight controls? Shall I thank you or should I blast you? Please help me to decide. I mean you no harm. I only wish for a safe passage. Who are you anyway? I was once called Gachama. But now, you can call me Agent X. I spent the better part of my life serving a master whose sole existence was to conquer and destroy worlds. So much so that I designed space vessels that would decimate a planet's surface upon impact to foster its Armageddon. With the shocking demise of my master, I began to reflect on my continued existence. 
was the extent of my technical genius to be limited to death and devastation? Or could it also be used to extend, or even restore, life? So I abandoned my post as high engineer during the Galactic Army's internal power struggle. My precious! Occasionally, exploring planets as I distanced myself from my dark past. Seldom encountering resistance to my goodwill. Yes! Yes! I have been traveling for seven years now, and I am sure Others have been dispatched to find me. However, there are 400 billion star systems. The data we collected from Lacosa Base suggests that your vessel crashed on the planet, and then you allowed yourself to be captured by the Lacosa Base personnel. Why? I saw multiple hostiles. So it's better for me to stay in my pod. During the attack on the base, you and your pod were stolen by an unknown party. Oh yes, that was Clodoc from my former master's army. He had me too, until you destroyed the ship and freed my pod. Astro. Agent X is no longer a threat. How long did it take for you to... Never mind. You are aware that you have a live proximity circuit scrambler strapped to your chest leg. And on to you. Tell me why you exist in this part of the galaxy. I spent half of my life in a galaxy far, far away. Leading up to that, I am a self-taught pilot that volunteer in Earth's orbital space defense program. My life was all routine until one day. We were attacked by a contingent of combat fighters representing a league of separatists. The battle was not too well. Several volunteers died in the firefight. Me almost being one of them. I flew hard and I flew rough, staying focused on my targets, praying that reinforcements would soon arrive. Fighters were able to rally, and we drove back the Separatists. That battle changed my perspective of war. I declined any further combat-oriented assignments and solely volunteered for data collection missions at listening posts mostly near the Outer Rim. These were solemn and lonely assignments, yet I drew my comfort from the peacefulness of space. One day, I encountered a listening post containing an encrypted message. It piqued my interest, so I spent the next several days in its orbit trying to decipher the message, and I succeeded. 
To my surprise, it was a distress call from a galaxy beyond the outer rim. I thought deeply about what to do, and the inner explorer within me gently said, Go. And so, I went beyond the outer rim. Into galaxies far, far away. Is Sky an Earthling as well? Incoming transmission. Stand by for retina scan. Identification confirmed. Welcome, Commander Vast. Commander, I hope you are receiving this message. I had some difficulty navigating the Calamity Galaxy. I am awaiting further orders in HR 1185. Secondary objective is now complete. Commander, your bird of prey is now ready. This is the end draw signing out.